Hi, in previous lecture I discussed shift tree root parsing. Let's discuss conflicts during shift tree root parsing. There are two types of conflicts possible. One is shift tree root conflict, another is reduced tree root conflict. What is shift tree root conflict? If parser is confused whether to shift or reduce, then that is a shift tree root conflict. If the parser cannot decide whether to shift or a reduce. Let's see one example. Your grammar is a derive e plus e, e multiplication e or id, and one input string I'm considering id plus id multiplication id. Now pointer is here. So this id will shift to stack. Now here it will be id. Then this id will reduce to e. Then it will shift plus. Then it will shift id, and this id again reduce to e. So till now there is no conflict. After that there is a chances of conflict. So I'm doing after this. There will be three column: one for stack, another for input string, another for action. I'm considering two parser. This is for parser one. This is for parser two. So till now stack contain e plus e, and input pointer is pointing to multiplication. Now just check is this is a handle? Yes, e plus e is present at RHS. This is a handle. Now parser one can reduce e plus e to e. Now what parser two will do? Parser two that don't want to reduce, it want to shift this multiplication symbol onto the stack. Now the parser is confused between shift and reduce. Whether to reduce e plus e or it will shift multiplication into the stack. When the parser cannot decide whether to reduce or shift, that is a shift reduce conflict. Now, what stack contain in first parser? Stack contain e, and input pointer is pointing to multiplication. Now, e is not a handle, so what will be action? Action will be simply shift. Now, in case of parser two, stack contain e plus e multiplication, and input pointer is pointing to id. This is not a handle, so action will be shift. So now star contain e multiplication and pointer is pointing to id. Now just check is this a handle? E multiplication is not a handle, but e multiplication e is a handle. So what will be action? Action will be shift. We'll shift this id into the stack. Now in case of parser two, what star contain? Star contain e plus e multiplication id, and input pointer is pointing to dollar. Now just check is stack contain a handle? Yes, this id is a handle. Id is present at RHS. We can reduce id to e. Now in case of first parser, stack contain e multiplication id and input pointer is pointing to dollar. So this id is a handle. We can reduce this id to e. And in case of parser two, this id will be reduced to e. So star contain e plus e multiplication e. Now in case of first parser, star contain e multiplication e. This is a handle. It is present at RHS. It can reduce to e. So action will be reduce e derive e multiplication e. And in case of parser two, star contain e plus e. As this e multiplication e reduce to e. Now this e plus e is also a handle, so it can reduce to e. Now, in case of first parser, stack contain e, and it is the initial state, so it will accept. And in case of second parser, stack contain e, as this e plus e reduce to e. E is the initial state, so it will accept. Here, the parser reduce while this parser shift. When a parser cannot decide whether to reduce or to shift, that is a shift reduce conflict. Let's construct the bottom of parse tree according to these two parser. So according to first, id will be reduced to e. Here id will be reduced to e. Then e plus e reduced to e. Then multiplication id id will be reduced to e. Then e multiplication e that will be reduced to e. So here first we do the addition operation. Then we do the multiplication operation. Now just construct the parse tree according to second parser. First id will be reduced to e. Then this id will be reduced to e. Then this id will reduce to e. Then e multiplication e that will be reduced to e. So e multiplication e that will be reduced to e. 
then e plus e that will be reduced to e. So according to this parser first we are evaluating the multiplication then we are evaluating the addition. So according to precedency first we should evaluate the multiplication then we should do the addition. So this parser is correct this parser is wrong. This is all about shift reduce conflict. Let's discuss reduce reduce conflict. If a parser is confused between more than one reduction, like which reduction to occur, then that is a reduced reduce conflict. So if a parser cannot decide which of the several reduction to make, there are more than one reduction, which reduction to choose, then that is a reduced reduce conflict. Let's take a grammar, m derive r plus r, r plus c, and r derive c. And we are considering one input string c plus c. I will do same way like previous, I will consider two parser, there will be three column for first parser, there will be three column for second parser, stack, input string and action. I am just doing this stack for first parser here as there is no space. Now in both the cases stack contain dollar, input string contain C plus C dollar and first action will be shipped. In second parser also first action will be shift. There is no conflict. Now C will shift to stack. Now stack contains C and input pointer is pointing to plus. And this C is a handle so you can reduce to R. Then in case of second parser stack contains C. Then input pointer is pointing to plus and this C is a handle so you can reduce to R. It is same in both the cases. Now for first parser stack contain R and input pointer is pointing to plus R is not a handle. So we'll simply shift the plus symbol onto the stack. And in case of second parser also we'll shift the plus symbol into the stack. Now in case of first parser stack contain R plus then R plus is not a handle we'll simply shift C into the stack. In case of second parser also same. Now in case of first parser stack contain R plus C. Now just check is this is a handle. R plus C is a handle also C is a handle. Now parser is confused between two reduce operation. Either it will reduce R plus C to M or it will reduce simply C to R. Now this parser consider reduction of C to R. While the second parser it will reduce R plus C to M. Now just mark there are two reduction operation here C reduced to R here R plus C reduced to M. Now the parser is confused between two reduce operation whether to reduce just C or to reduce R plus C. So this is a reduce reduce conflict. If parser cannot decide between several reduction then this is a reduce reduce conflict. Now here stack contain R plus R. And this R plus R is a handle, it can reduce to M. Here stack contain M and M is the start state, so it will accept. Then in case of first parser, now stack contain M. This R plus R will reduce to M. So what is shift reduce parsing? If parser cannot decide between shift and reduce. Here one parser reduce while one parser shift. This is a shift reduce parsing. And what is reduce reduce parsing? If there are more than one handle present and you cannot decide which handles to reduce, then that is a reduced reduce conflict. Here C reduced to R, here R plus C reduced to M. I just use different color. This is for one parcel, this is for another parcel. Here also this is for one parcel, this is for another parcel. Or you can see one parcel is taking this decision while other parcel is taking this decision. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.